Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, Word Processing Wars. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I want to talk about word processing. And word processing is not the most sexy or exciting topic, but in the last few months there were a number of additions into the uh, already available word processing options on iPads that really make every way that you want to work on iPads a little bit easier and the communication between devices and between apps even better, especially when we're talking about going from computers back to uh, apps on the iPad back and forth. It is a very important topic. The classic word processing that has been available on the iPads for a long time, the two apps that come to mind are Pages, which is made by Apple, and it's a very good product. It's streamlined, so you can easily work within the constraints. It can send documents back into a Word format or in other formats, rich text formats, or keep it in Pages, a format that other Mac computers can read easily. And you can see that if the text was written in something else and they don't have the exact font, it'll tell you. So this is a document I imported from a Word format, but now it is in uh, pages and you can see that I can view it, I can make it smaller or bigger just like anything else and there are certain functions you can do. Now on the iPad as a general rule you get less functionality than a full-blown word processing app. The advantage is you keep it simple, you focus on the things that matter the most. The disadvantage is sometimes it doesn't do exactly what you want. But you can see the things that you can add so you need to select a piece of text here, let's select this and then you can change font, change the style, uh, create a list just like in other languages and change layout. One of the things that the iPad actually does considerably better than uh, desktops or laptop computers is work with a virtual keyboard in multiple languages. So you can easily switch and you can do that in any app, but the advantage in word processing is obvious. So I write uh, often, um, for example, right now we're working in Hebrew. So we change the keyboard to Hebrew, which is my language, and it starts writing and it writes in the right direction. You can further go and write Chinese. This is simplified Chinese. So if you start with two letters, it'll give you all the possible combinations and you can actually write simplified Chinese without needing to remember what the keyboards do or without having to remember where characters lie. So this is a very useful piece that works in everything that works on the iPad. So this is Pages, very simple, very straightforward. When you export, you can share it, uh, you can share a link to a document, you can send a copy, or you can open it in another app. So you've got a little bit of flexibility when you work in Pages. Another word processing app I like is Quip. Quip can actually replace other uh, word processing apps. The reason I like it, it's really built for mobile devices. It doesn't have the same constraints. It doesn't try to be a word-like uh, app. And what you can see is that you get into a page. The page is very, very simple. You can write immediately. Right now I'm in Chinese because of our previous uh, work. But you just write whatever you want to write. You can see that you can add comments straight in the text or you can remove them and you can insert whatever you want into it. You can insert image, table, person, document or link. So all of this is integrated into a very, very simple interface. I like that interface. It is not constrained by notions of paper or size, more fitting whatever device you're using at that moment so it adjusts very easily and creates beautiful documents, crisp and clear, that can be shared. And again, the goal is more to share it electronically than to share it on paper. And you can bring people, just like you can in Google Docs or Google Drive now, you can bring people to share 
these kind of uh, documents in real time. So Quip is really crisp, it's free, and it's available. Uh, Google Drive has been there for a long time. I'm not going to go back to it if you have never worked with Google Drive. One of the advantages of Google Drive is it works across devices. It's available for free in all formats and you can share all kinds of files including uh, word processing files. You can word process directly in Google Drive and the app for the iPad is a very good app and it gets better all the time. Recently or fairly recently Microsoft has entered the fray with uh, Word for the first time is fully available for the iPad and you can see that they have a lot of templates, a lot of examples and when you get into a document, in this case it has a template, you can see that this reminds us very much of the way Word looks like on a desktop or a laptop. It has the same basic functionalities with home, insert, layout and all of that. So what you're getting when you're getting Word from Microsoft is you're getting full compatibility with Word documents. You're getting a lot of options. Uh, what I do like is that option to review, add comments and all of that. We have that in Google Drive. We have that in Microsoft right now. You can save, you can share and you can, if you have a Microsoft account, you can also sync and start saving it on the Microsoft Cloud. So if you're working intimately with Microsoft on your desktop or laptops and other devices, this is a way to bring the iPad and make it part of that uh, system and exchange documents freely, have access to them everywhere and all of that. So this is Word for Microsoft. Uh, this, this isn't all. On top of that, uh, Google recently came out with Docs. They have a version for uh, spreadsheets as well, but today I decided to focus on word processing. And what Google did is it created a very similar uh, app to the Microsoft app where you can bring documents in, you can share them through Google Drive, but you can also edit them directly on your iPad and save them on your iPad. So this is an example of notes that we took during a meeting and you can see again very simple control, very clean screen, very similar to Quip in that way. Uh, the ability to comment, to share immediately, to do a search which is always important and you can see that there's basic editing. So this goes more in the direction of a real tablet based word processing. But what you can see is everybody that has a product in the word processing world is entering iPads and iPhones uh, with a full line of products and it's really at this point choice as to which system and which ecosystem you want to belong to but you can be part of Google, you can be part of Microsoft or part of Apple and you can also have a choice that doesn't necessarily have to do with any of these. So a really exciting time to be doing even simple things like word processing on the iPad and I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.